Over the weekend, much lauded Borussia Dortmund prospect Yusuf Makoku made his Bundesliga debut. Born in Cameroon, but already a Germany under-20 international, Makuku's debut was treated with fascination throughout German football and beyond. A star of German youth football for a few years now, Makuku has scored 51 goals and made 11 assists from only 32 appearances for Borussia Dortmund's under-19s. So it's easy to see why even a club with Borussia Dortmund's track record when it comes to developing young players are extremely excited about him. Makuku came on as a substitute for Dortmund against Hertha, becoming both Dortmund and the Bundesliga's youngest player of all time in the process, aged 16 years and one day old. Whilst that might set a record for German football, you may be surprised to find out that Makuku doesn't crack the record for the seven youngest professional football debuts of all time. In fact, if I'm being honest, since records across much of the world are so badly kept, and so many dates of birth in generations gone by have been disputed, the reality is that we'll never really know definitively who the youngest professional debutants were. Nonetheless, since I like a challenge, I have attempted to compile the seven youngest that we do know about. This seven doesn't include international football, which distorts things greatly, and only includes competitive senior first team debuts for professional football clubs. Included are both huge global stars and absolute nobodies, so my apologies in advance for the lack of images with regards to a couple of players. Here are the seven youngest professional footballers of all time, and where are they now? Sergio Aguero, Manchester City. We start off with one of those huge global superstars that I alluded to in the introduction. In fact, Sergio Aguero is most likely the biggest name in this entire seven, and he is also our only 15-year-old. Yes, that's right, the oldest player in this entire video, Sergio Aguero, was a granddad in comparison to those that are still to come, aged 15 years and 35 days old, when he made his first appearance for Independiente. That means that Aguero was 10 days younger than English football's youngest ever professional, Ruben Lobel Lazarus, who was 15 years and 45 days old when he made his senior debut for Barnsley back in 2008. Noble Lazarus, just for the record, now plays for Halifax Town in the National League, aged 27. Aguero came on as a substitute for Independiente against San Lorenzo, but although his performance impressed fans and journalists alike, he wouldn't feature again until the following season, by which stage he had already turned 16. When he returned, Aguero became a key man at the Estadio Libertadores, though, and a sensation for Argentina's youth teams. He was still only 17 when Atletico Madrid struck a deal to bring him to the Spanish capital, and he scored 27 goals in a single season for Atletico before he'd even turned 20. Aguero joined Man City in 2011 in what was perhaps the club's most significant signing of all time. He has since become the Citizens' all-time record goalscorer with 255 goals in 373 games to date, in addition to 41 goals from 97 caps for Argentina. Janis Stoika, CSM Slatina. This image of Janis Stoika fouling Atalanta UT midfielder Gabriella Berto in a game between Romania's under 16s versus Italy's under 15s in 2018 is the only one that we have of the 17 year old. Consequently, I am going to mostly just use photographs of Phil Neville in 2003 exclusively throughout this segment whilst talking about him instead, for obvious reasons. At 17, Stoika is the youngest player in this seven right now, but he was the second oldest at the time of his professional debut. Born in Bucharest and the son of former Stau left-back and Romanian international Pompeu Stoika, Janis can play either out wide or in attack. His professional debut came in October 2017 against Sanitate Cluj in the Romanian Cup when he was only 14 years, 10 months and 17 days old. His debut made him the youngest player in the history of Stau, and the youngest in the history of Romanian football. In the three years since, Stoika has been sent out on loan four times, and he is currently turning out for CSM Slatina in Romania's second tier. At his happiest out wide on the right flank, Stoika has represented Romania with distinction at under 16, 17 and 18 level, captaining his country at times. Expectations for the 17-year-old have been tempered a little in recent times, but there remains a good chance of him becoming a full international, if he develops well, over the next couple of years. James Rodriguez, Everton It would be fair to say that Colombian coaches are not afraid to throw their youngsters in at the deep end if they feel they are talented enough, and James Rodriguez is a fine case in point. 
Rodriguez didn't come through the youth ranks of an Atletico Nacional or Santa Fe, but it's second to her outfit Envigado. Envigado may never have been crowned as Colombian champions, but they do have an excellent academy system, with alumni including Freddy Guarín, Juan Quintero, and Juan Cordoba. Despite all of that talent, James Rodriguez remains Envigado's greatest gift to the world of football, and he made his debut for the club in Colombia's second tier way back in 2006, at 14 years, 10 months, and 9 days of age. He went on to make 8 appearances during that season. Incredibly, the following season, aged still only 15, Rodriguez played 22 games and scored 9 goals. At the age of 17, Rodriguez signed for Banfield, where he became the youngest foreigner to score a goal in Argentina. Rodriguez remained one of Colombia's brightest stars in the years that followed, following moves to Porto and then Monaco. It was at the 2014 World Cup that he was really catapulted into global stardom, as one of the outstanding individuals in Brazil, which prompted a £63 million transfer to Real Madrid. Rodriguez wasn't nearly as bad as some made out during his time at the Bernabeu or on loan at Bayern Munich, but whilst his stock was low, Everton struck fast and brought the Colombian to Goodison Park, essentially on a free transfer. Reunited with Carlo Ancelotti, Rodriguez has made a brilliant start to the season with the Toffees. Freddy Adu Osterleon From a very early age, Freddy Adu was used to playing against people much older than him. Born in Ghana but raised in the United States, by the age of 12, Adu was already a minor celebrity. He was an absolute sensation for the US under-17 team even when he was only 13, scoring 16 goals in 15 games against international opponents who were 3 or 4 years his senior. By the age of 14, Adu had already stepped up to the national team's under-20 setup and been nicknamed the next Pele. It was at the age of 14, in 2004, that Adu became the youngest American ever to sign a Major League professional contract in any team sport when he was the number one overall pick of the 2004 MLS Super Draft. Adu was assigned to DC United in order for him to stay closer to home, despite Dallas Byrne actually having had the first pick. Adu was eight days younger than James Rodriguez when he made his professional debut in the first game of the 2004 MLS campaign coming on as a substitute against Real Salt Lake at 14 years, 10 months, and one day old. In his first season, Adu held himself very well, and he even scored his first MLS goal while still only 14. It's easy to lose a sense of perspective in a 7 of this ilk, but to make 30 appearances in a domestic top flight as a 14-year-old is absolutely absurd. Following three seasons in DC, a much-anticipated move to Europe finally arrived. Adu had been linked with everyone from Barcelona to Manchester United, but he ended up signing for Benfica. Sadly, Adu's career ended up being a tale of too much too soon, and the pressure put on him from a very early age can't have helped. Age 31, he now plays for Osterleon FF in Sweden's third tier, following two years out of the game. Fernando Garcia, Director of Football at Pirata I regret to inform you that Getty Images don't have any images of the Fernando Garcia that I'm talking about, the third youngest professional footballer of all time in their database. Thankfully, there are lots of other people also called Fernando Garcia who they do have images of, so I'm just going to display pictures of them instead. It's worth noting, by the way, since some people point out that they've googled someone and found loads of images, that I'm not allowed to just use copyrighted images without the owner's permission hence why all of our images are from Getty, who we have a subscription to. Right, back on topic, Fernando Garcia is a Peruvian centre-forward who made his debut for second-tier Peruvian outfit Juan Auric in June 2001. Nothing strange about that, you may think, well, except for the fact that he was 13 at the time. Garcia was one month shy of his 14th birthday when he registered his first team debut. Following two years with Auric, at 15, Garcia went to university and began playing university football instead. When he returned to Peruvian football two years later, aged 17, he was much sought after. Between 2006 and 2007, Garcia made 11 appearances for Peru's under-20 team, as well as signing for six-time Peruvian champions, Sport Boys. Unfortunately, he couldn't quite kick on, and he returned to where it all started at Juan Auric while still in his teens. Now age 33, Wikipedia alleges that Garcia still plays for Alianza Atletico, but I believe he actually retired in 2017 and now serves as director of football for second-tier outfit Pirata FC. 
Radamel Falcao, Galatasaray. I told you that they're not afraid to start them young in Colombia, and James Rodriguez isn't even the youngest Colombian professional footballer of all time. No, that title goes to another one of the nation's finest players, and almost certainly the country's most adored, and that is none other than Radamel Falco. I hope you're sitting down and don't have any liquids in your mouth that you may eject upon hearing some pretty shocking information, since I'm about to inform you that Radamel Falco registered his senior debut during the 20th century. That's right, Radamel Falcao, who is only 34 years old, made his professional debut in August 1999. The man who Colombians refer to as El Tigre was only 13 years and 199 days old at the time, which is the same age as Daniel Radcliffe was when Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets premiered in 2002. The team Falcao was playing for, Lanceros Boyaca, were in the second tier at the time, but they have since been dissolved. Falcao went on to start for River Plate, Porto, and Atletico Madrid, becoming for a period of time, of maybe probably four years-ish, one of the two or three best centre forwards on the planet. A 2013 transfer to Monaco was the beginning of the end of Falcao as a world-class marksman, due to an ACL injury sustained not long after, although he still bounced back to enjoy a 30-goal season in the 2016-17 campaign. Falcao now plays for Galatasaray, age 34, and he is adored in Colombia for his resilience and passion, so don't rule out a return to his homeland before he hangs up his boots. Maurizio Baldavieso, free agent. Getty Images only have four images of Maurizio Baldavieso in their database, all from his remarkable debut, so I shall use them sparingly throughout this section. The youngest professional footballer of all time, Baldovieso, was just 12 years old when he made his top flight debut. I shall repeat, 12 years old. For some perspective, when I was 12 years old, the most pressure I faced was trying to get past Mission 3 in Japan on James Bond Nightfire, and the Irish guy was still breastfeeding. Maurizio Baldovieso's reality was quite different though thrust into the international spotlight at Aurora at the same age as Macaulay Culkin was when he starred in Home Alone 2. Baldovieso's father Julio is a legend of the Bolivian game, having starred overseas and won 85 caps for the national team. Rather significantly perhaps, you might need to know that Julio was Aurora's manager when his son made his debut, a few days shy of his 13th birthday. Whilst many watched the youngster get bullied by professionals two or three times his age and felt that the whole thing was a bit of a farce, Julio was much more positive, unsurprisingly commenting that, I'm very proud, he's got a lot of talent. Maybe Baldovieso would have better developed that talent if his dad hadn't brought international fame upon him before he was old enough to know his nine times tables, and later that year, he was released by the club. In 2011, Julio returned as manager and he signed his son once again who made over 20 appearances at the club this time around. He has since played for four different Bolivian clubs, all of whom were managed by his father at the time, although the 24-year-old has now been without a club for two years. So that is it for today's video, but thank you all as ever for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for the one and only HITC Sevens. Now then you can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram where the username is just at HITC7s on both.